things you didn't count on. You ever play roulette? On occasion. Let me give you a word of advice. Always bet on black. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Big Travis Show. Here, always been on black. Big Trav here. Early morning edition. I had an epiphany and I had to give it to you. Um, it just had to happen. This is a special edition. Wednesday record. It's about 9.30 in the morning. It just had to happen. I just sat there and I got the NCAAs in my head and I got, you know, the games to get the Big E's, the ACC and all that all starting up this week. But I had to give you the nugget that a lot of you guys are going to be watching on Thursday outside of the, the conference tournaments. San Antonio, L.A., Spurs, Lakers, last one of the year, the tiebreaker. This game is going to settle who's going to be, who's going to have the bragging rights going into the playoffs. And the Lakers, um, rocking and rolling. You really can't knock them. They're the best team in the Western Conference. Um... But at the same time, San Antonio is right along the steady, steady trail without having Manu Ginobili being hurt. And I don't think we're going to see him until probably mid-April because there's no need to rush him back. Unless you're trying to catch the Lakers, and I don't think Greg Popovich is trying to do that. The Lakers, on the other hand, and I've noticed just a few games lately, outside of the more at home, they struggle on the road at the same time the level of competition is playing down to them. They're kind of like, whatever, the Lakers win. Um, but they struggle on the road. Kobe does what Kobe does, and we've still got 20-some games to go. So this is a little early for me to say, like, Kobe is falling out because he's not. Kobe's going to step up in the playoffs. But what I see with this Laker team is they're fantastic, talent all around, but I still don't know if they have the cojones or the, 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 the ability to go over the hump with Gasol and Odom. Regular season is one thing. And if you remember what the Dallas Mavericks did some years ago, the Mavericks looked like they were going to be that team as well until they ran into a buzzsaw called the Golden State Warriors. Now, mind you, the Lakers won't go through that. Okay, They'll probably get to the Western Conference Finals. But they're going to have to beat a team like San Antonio who has chemistry, history, in rings in the past five years. Remember, this Laker team has never won anything. They went to the finals last year, beat up a, a downtrodden San Antonio team who went through a grueling seven-game series with the Hornets. So, with all that said, this game tomorrow is going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome tomorrow on Thursday. TNT early game live at at and Center. We're going to give you today Again, this is an epiphany, and I have no lines. Vegas, I haven't seen the Vegas lines. It's 9.30 in the morning. As you saw what I did last week with UNC and Duke, you may want to take this down. I think this game, San Antonio is going to win by five points. One reason we already know. Lamar Odom is out. He's out of tonight's game against the Rockets. Then they play back-to-back -back in San Antonio. That's tough to win, folks. That's tough to win in, the, in this league. I don't care how good the Lakers are. Okay, San Antonio has something to prove. I think I'm going to start Dwight Gooden tomorrow to counteract the fact that Lamar Odom's not there. So they're going to miss points and rebounds, and the Spurs are going to start um, Dwight Gooden, who can definitely give you 13 points, at least eight rebounds, and that's what the Spurs need. And bottom line, Parker's going to do what Parker does, Duncan's going to do what Duncan does, and there's still no Manu Ginobili. So to be respectful, the Lakers are going to lose the game probably 100 to 95. That's what I think. Um... You want the spread winner? I mean, you mean the over under winner? You you're gonna you know you got you just got it, you know one night one I'll say I'll, I'll I'll keep it like this, you know what I'll 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 make you buy it, okay? I think 195, but I might change my mind. All right, so if you want the over under winner, the over under winner is gonna be on MySpace.com. MySpace.com always been on black, so it's www myspace.com slash always been on black one the number one go there hit the paypal button five dollars you can get the over under winner there okay it's all be up today you can get it tonight you can probably get it in the next 
three hours by 12 o'clock noon here on a Wednesday. But bottom line is the guarantee San Antonio to win by five against the Lakers Thursday night, tomorrow night. Okay? There you go. Don't forget, folks, we're having a big show on Friday, all dedicated to the NCAAs. Well, we're going to talk about the conference tournaments, and we're going to talk about who we think is going to be the number ones in the, um, the number one seed in the tournament. And then Friday, on Wednesday, should be a special show with Michael Wilbon on Live365.com. We're going to do a, a NCAA forecast show with myself and Michael Wilbon from ESPN's PTI Partner Interruption Program. If I don't get him, I got Kornheiser. Either one, I got to go. All right, folks, you got it. Special edition of the Big Travis Show here on Always Been on Black here on MySpace.com. Go to Facebook, Always Been on Black, MySpace to get the winners. Free recorded message each and every day on MySpace. Also, one free um, winner on Facebook. Folks, good luck to you. Good gambling. Once again, take the Spurs to beat the Lakers by five tomorrow night and get the over-under on MySpace.com. It's been fun. I'm tired, but I had to do it. Take care. See y'all Friday here on Always Bet on Black here on YouTube.